Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Pirate Pete section of my Retro for Disaster quest guide. So as always we'll start off by telling you the items you'll need. So you'll need a raw cod, a piece of bread, an empty fish bowl, a knife, a pestle and mortar, three bronze wires and a needle. So let's get straight into this quest by inspecting Pirate Pete. Ok so after inspecting Pirate Pete, I just should tell you you need fish cakes. Now see to do this, you don't have to make them, you have to go and talk to the cook who started this whole thing in the first place. So pass through the barrier into the kitchen and talk to the cook. Ok, once you finish talking to the cook, use your pestle and water on your cod, get some ground cod, and use a knife on the bread, and you get some bread crumbs. Now you've got to travel to, I think it's Port Cazard, and talk to Murphy, which is the guy that does the fishing trawler minigame. So teleport there. Ok guys, for a start next step, I did just get time to start the video. Um, you may need either prayer potions or food if you're at a lower combat level as there is a um, a few monsters and things that you are required to fight. Um, they're not high level and they are not difficult. Um, also, if you're 40 attack and you get the blind saber, this is the only place to my knowledge on the runescape that you can use the blind saber uh, special attack. So, with that said, talk to Murphy and talk about the last quest. Okay, let's just talk to Murphy, he'll make the fishbowl helmet and the diving apparatus, so equip them. Now you have to make sure your total weight is less than 27 kilograms, so I've got my boots of lightness on here, I'm only 15. If it's more than 27 you won't be, help you won't be able to do the next step of the quest. So, let's go diving. Ok guys, so when you first start diving you'll arrive in this place here, so if you just swim forward, go to find a kelp, so if you pick some kelp, you can grind that later, a few pieces of that, ok, what you need to do now is you need to head straight forward, directly north, into this little area here where you see the door, and talk to Nung. Ok so Nung will tell you want some big skippy skins so I want you to now you need to swim northwest um, to the area that he just showed you and it's this area here where you can see all the items are so once you get over there basically pick up a few rocks and eventually you will sink and once you're sunk obviously then you can walk and you get your inventory back um, and you'll also be able to enter the cave to kill the, uh, the mud skippers which are on the other side I'm not quite sure how many rocks you need to pick up but I mean the respawn rate is fairly fast so you can just literally use two spawns rather than swim around gathering loads so still going you have, so you get a message, you have enough rocks and, uh, to be able to stand on the seabed if you need to. So enter in here, you see the multi-keeper is level 31, level 30 is, so straight away start attacking these little guys. You will have to re-equip your weapon.
Ok then guys, once you have 5 hides, just simply exit this cave and swim back to null. Ok guys, so talk to Nung again, uh, give him the giant hides. And tell you need some uh, needle and bronze wires, we already have those, so you can talk to him again straight away. Uh, give him the items and you will now have to enter the pen. I'm saying you just want to kill these crabs. Finish a couple levels. Um, while you're in here as well, you might find the occasional um, crab shell or uh, crab claw. Now these can be crafted, the crab claw can be crafted into a glove and the crab shell can be crafted into a helm. Um, and, oh see, straight away look, there's a fresh crab claw. Um, unfortunately I don't think I'm high enough crafting to do this. Um, I'll just, oops, I'll kill this one and I'll check. Um, but a lot of people, you know, might like to stay down here to try and get these. No, I accidentally broke that one. Um, I'll just stay down here until I get a few so I can just show you. Ok guys, so I've been here a while now, but I managed to get two of each, so hopefully these ones don't break. Oh, there we go, a crab helmet, nope, two crab helmets. And of course, craft the crab claw, and that one's worked fine as well. So I only ever broke the first one, um, but I can't show them until I get back onto the surface. But we've got everything you need now, so I'm just going to leave this place and head back up to where you came from and back up to Murphy. Ok, so now you're back on the surface, uh, if you grind up the kelp, and then grind up your crab meat, I've got two of each in case I fail it, let's grind them both up really quickly. Ok, um, and then the helms and claws you can make, so that's the helm, and then that's the claw, I see it only goes on one hand, but it's the opposite hand to what the um, all the base looks go on. Ok, I mean it does look quite cool I guess. Um, and just show you real quick the stats of them. So the helm obviously gives negative mage and range um, and gives some really small defense bonuses and the claws also give some small defense bonuses plus uh, one strength. So I guess that really they're not the worst claws in the world um, and I guess if you are one defense and you are just starting out um, and you can't afford the regent bracelet they are a nice plus one strength bonus. Um, obviously compared to the regent bracelet which I'm currently using um, you know, they just don't compare at all. Um, so yeah, now you've got everything you need, simply head back to Lumbridge and talk to the cook. Ok, now you know how to do it. So let's use any time on each other and get the raw fish cake and use the raw fish cake on the range if you cannot do it on the fire it has to be on the range and simply cook the fish cake enter back into a dining hall and use the fish cake on Pirate Pete to complete the quest and there you go the quest completed you are awarded one quest point 1k cooking xp 1k fishing xp 1k smithing XP, 1k crafting XP, access to the Moga camp, um, and increased access to a chest downstairs. So you've now got another set of gloves down there, um, and yeah, you can go back and if you wish collect more crab claws and crab helms. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope this helped. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon. Bye.